While the Ukrainian war rages on, Finland and Sweden, two non-NATO nations, have asked to join. Since they have been neutral countries for a very long time, their attempt to join NATO is exceptional. They have had misgivings about joining NATO, particularly in the case of Finland. In 2014, only 25% of people favored NATO. But they had a change of heart. In actuality, despite being close allies, Sweden and Finland were not NATO members. Finland, for instance, has a friendly disposition and has participated in military drills with NATO near the Baltic Sea. Even soldiers were sent to Afghanistan. Finland, however, wanted to maintain its neutrality in contrast to this cooperation. Behind it is a converted relationship between Finland and Russia. Then how do Finland and Russia interact? and what are the repercussions of Finland's attempt to join NATO. We can now learn more about the connection between Finland and Russia. Finland has been a sovereign nation since 1917. Between the 13th and the beginning of the 19th century, Sweden colonized Finland. This is the basis for the current rivalry between Finland and Sweden. In fact, some areas of Finland and neighboring Sweden are now speaking the Swedish language. However, Finland was under the Russian Empire's sphere of influence after the Finnish War, which was the war between Russia and Sweden in 1809. Alexander I, the emperor who seized control of Finland, initially exercised appeasement as a form of government. He admitted the right to autonomy and Swedish language as an official language and even didn't force orthodoxy. However, Arseny Jakarevsky, the Governor General of Finland, attempted to annex Finland to Russia and impose the brutal government there. Additionally, Russia maintained the monarchy, resisted the spread of liberalism throughout the world, and allowed the Finns to harbor strong animosity toward Russia. The desire for independence was growing as a result of the severe suppression of Finnish nationalism by Alexander III and Nikolai II in particular. Finally, Finland had the opportunity to achieve independence by riding the wave of the Russian Revolution and becoming a sovereign nation on December 6, 1917. However, the Finnish civil war started after a brief period of happiness. Like Russia, Finland was divided into the red and the white, however, unlike Russia, was defeated by the white. For your information, Karl Gustav Mannerim, the white leader during the war, was elected as Finland's sixth president in 1944. However, as the leader of the terror between the red and the white during the war, the anti-communist sentiment was growing in Finland. The Winter War started in this tense mood. Many people made comparison between the Winter War and the Ukrainian War after it started. In both cases, the powerful nation of Russia invaded smaller, weaker countries for its own security. The Winter War is what then? The Soviet Union was terrified of a German invasion after Hitler took power. The molotov Ribbentrop Pact, which they signed to ally their fears, forbade them from invading one another, but neither of them had faith in the other. The attack by Germany on the USSR three months after the pact signing is evidence that it was broken. Stalin therefore struggled to identify a buffer area that could share the USSR from the western Azure. Stalin was particularly concerned that Germany would attack Leningrad. Finland is the ideal candidate for this buffer zone condition. First of all, geographically speaking, Finland is close to Leningrad. Actually, there are almost 150 km between St. Petersburg and Helsinki, the capital of Finland. Lenin regarded Finland as a pro-socialist nation with the capacity to establish a socialist state. 
In actuality, during the Finnish Civil War, the Red Army of Finland worked alongside the Soviet Army. Therefore, the USSR believed that if a war with Finland broke out, the Red Army in Finland would rise up against the White, and these circumstances allowed the Soviet Union to seize the opportunity to win. Additionally, they believed that Finland would not be able to defend their nation from invasion by Germany. At the time, Finland was a young, developing country attempting to set up a stable military system. Finland actually had a functioning army after gaining independence in 1917, but it wasn't enough. They even received assistance from Germany. The Soviet Union also has a convincing justification for their actions, claiming that they were merely attempting to reclaim territory that had been taken during the Russian Revolution and was located in Finland. Stalin specifically evaluated Finland, the child state, based on its ability to defend the Soviet Union. Stalin commanded Finland to hand over Karelia, a region that shares the border with Russia, as well as Lapland territory, in exchange for Finland receiving Eastern Karelia territory. The main axis of the Finnish economy, the main factories and the harvest lands are located on the Karelia Isthmus, which the Soviet Union requested. Furthermore, the Soviet Union's demand for territory accounted for almost 10% of Finland's total area. These assertions, however, are unilaterally harmful to Finland because the USSR would not grant it any battle land. Ludolf Horsey, the Finland foreign minister, proposed a Finland neutrality between Germany and the Soviet Union in response to the USSR's proposal. However, their suggestion was dropped. The Soviet Union finally invaded Finland, starting the Winter War. In reality, every nation including the Soviet Union expected the Soviet Union to advance swiftly toward Finland. This expectation is reasonable. The Red Army of the Soviet Union was well organized, and on September 9, they defeated the Japanese army in Manchuria, demonstrating their strength. But as was already mentioned, Finland was a young country. In this situation, it is obvious that Stalin's judgment that the war would last just only two and three weeks. He ordered that only 10% of the USSR's entire military be used in the war. However, they were unable to see one thing. The setting of this war is Winter Finland. The winters in Finland are too bitterly cold, have a lot of snow, and are very dark. Particularly, 73% of Finland's land area is covered in large tall trees. Specifically, the setting was unsuitable for war. Additionally, on November 13, the winter war began and February saw a lot of competition. All of this represented the war's most extreme situation. In reality, there aren't many differences between the environment in Finland and Russia. However, the crucial distinction is that the Soviet Union has never engaged in combat in this circumstance. Additionally, during the Great Terror of the 1913s, Stalin had already purged a large number of generals. The generals who were expelled were terrified of being taken into the NKVD. However, the Soviet Union launched the war without any planning due to its unfounded confidence that it could easily defeat Finland. This is a serious mistake. Finland fought back strongly against Finland using the Winter War environment. They lured and isolated the USSR in the forest while engaging in ski-based combat in the lake. During the five months that the Soviet Union was trapped in freezing, snowy, melting, muddy, and forested conditions, the Finland won numerous battles. However, Finland's misfortune is not yet over. So thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to click the subscribe and the like button.